A, B, C, D, E, F is a hexagon. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F is a hexagon. A, F, A, F is parallel to C, D, and B, C is parallel to F, E. And the angle A, and the angle A, B, C is 90 degrees. Calculate the value of P, Q, R, and S. So, taking the diagram there, so P is going to be 180 minus 42 because these two angles, so these two angles here are on a straight line. So, P will be equal to 138. B, well, in order to find Q, we need to find this angle here, X, first. And X is actually corresponding to this angle here because these two lines are parallel. So, X is equal to 42 corresponding angles. The reason being is that that line and that line are both parallel. So Q will be equal to X plus 90, because X plus 90 must be equal to the exterior angle of this triangle A, B, X, this triangle here. So this is the exterior angle, and the opposite two interior angles make the exterior angle of a triangle. Therefore, Q will be equal to 42 plus 90, which is equal to 132 degrees. Right, we know this is 42, but we also know that this line here is parallel to this line here. Therefore, looking at these two angles here, R and 42, R plus 42 must be equal to 180, because these two are allied angles, because they're both on parallel lines. Therefore, R will be equal to 138. D, angle sum in a hexagon, so here we've got a hexagon, which I've just coloured in blue here, is going to be 6, because it's 6 sides, minus 2 times 180. 6 minus 2, because there's always two less triangles than the number of sides in any polygon. That gives me 4 times 180, which is 720. So all these angles here must add up to 720. Marking on this angle, this is 138, this is 132, this is 138, this is the same, so it must be 138. So that allows us to find S, because we know this one was also 90. So S will be 720 minus 132 minus 3 lots of 138 minus the 90 degrees, which gives... That's the angle sum in a hexagon, and the final answer will be 84 degrees. You must remember when we get a diagram like this that it's not drawn to scale. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find angles in between parallel lines. I hope you found it useful, and thank you very much for watching.